Put my bag in. You'll see I could probably fit another seven in there. And if you need even more room, then the rear seat's forward. And because you can flip out the bases, when you put the backs down, it's flat, which helps boost practicality. As for rear passengers, well, I'll just put this back and you'll see that it's got quite a lot of knee room and headroom isn't bad either. And I'm five foot 11. So it's okay. Regardless of your size, you should be able to find your ideal driving position because you can alter the t in the steering wheel. Practicality is not bad either. There's lots of cubbies here on this and there's even a place where you can keep your wallet. The glove box, that's a decent size filled by the air conditioning. Speaking of which, the i20 is very well equipped. This is the mid-spec car and it's Bluetooth mobile phone connectivity and MP3 player. And there's even an iPod in needed a charge. The i20 is a cracking car in town. You sit quite a last area, means you've got great all-round visibility. All the controls are nice and light, the steering, the gearbox, it doesn't matter when you encounter speed humps. As for engines, well, the 1.2 litre petrol in this car is all you really need. It's economical. Hyundai impresses out on the open road too. I mean, it's rather quiet inside, even at higher speeds, and the handling itself. That said, I wouldn't describe this as a fun car to drive in the same way that a Mazda 2 or a Ford Fiesta.